What is the crack, lads? Welcome back to your weekly roundup of eFootball 2023 news. I'm just going to move this mic a little bit. So I hope you guys are good. And obviously we have another Thursday update. We've got a bit of information uh, about new players, which we'll cover in a bit. We will have reviews for the epic Real Madrid players later and for the player of the weeks. Saka and Diaby look really tasty, so we'll delve into them. Delve? Delve. Yeah, delve. That's better. So we do have a bit of news on what is coming in Season 2. There's a bit of information on this eFootball International Cup. So we're going to get into that. At the moment, there is authentic and Dream Team matches. There is new events in there. Make sure that you play the Dream Team one just before we get into the International Cup. There is one new event in the actual Dream Team events here, which is the European Club Championship. You win that and you get a free spin at the Player of the Week uh, selection that we have there we'll check out in a second or actually we will do that now and then obviously you have the event in the authentic match you also have the afc event in the dream team mode as well where you're playing that within this one you do have the same thing it's just rinse and repeated you pick a team here and it's a challenge event and all you have to do is play matches you don't need to win you don't need to do anything else you get 30,000 gp or 40,000 gp and a load of trainer bonuses as well when you complete that one and then obviously you've got the login campaign as well so that is the events obviously there isn't that much there and then in terms of the actual players as i said we do have two new packs or two new player selections we've got the real madrid which includes cassius guti and morientes we will be doing uh, reviews on them very very soon as you can see here um you know, they do have some good players in there as well, the Real Madrid agent, but obviously the pick of them is going to be Guti and Cassius. They go up to very high levels and obviously you've got Morientes there as well. So they're going to be fairly decent players if you don't already have got them and you are uh, a Real Madrid fan. And then we also have the player of the, the week selection as well. Uh, we will be doing a review on them. And as you can see, there's some nice players in there as well. Mount, Bruno, Tomori, Saka, Diaby, Correa. There's Dumfries. There's a lot of good players there. Obviously, these guys have no levels, so they are what they are. They're all on A form. Um, and yeah, we will do a review on them in just a second. Well, in a later video. Now, we also do have a bit of news that we're going to get into. Just before we go in and cover the main, the main one to announce today is probably the Football International Cup, which is like eFootball 23's version of the World Cup. We'll get into that in a second. Uh, we'll have a bit of information on that. So we saw this. We saw the Epic Players. We also saw that there's a couple of issues that they're fixing. They're going to be introducing a new rating calculation spe specification for eFootball League Division 1. So the new calculation serves to adjust the degree of rating fluctuations with the aim of providing a fair and more enjoyable league experience. So I presume what they're going to be doing is that you lose and gain you'll probably gain more points for wins and lose more uh, lose less points for losing because at the moment I think um i think you like you could literally win 10 games in a row and then lose one and you'll have gained no ground so yeah they do need to make that a little bit better um they also talk about another update in-game asset and other data carryover so you can now search for players and managers eligible for the v2.2 carryover process on the official website so any of the day any of the guys that you see when you go through to the link there so obviously you will go through to this link here and it's going to open up players that are eligible for carryover. So if your player isn't on this, you are going to get, um, it says here, what can happen if your chosen team, well, I've covered this in the last video, but basically if you have a special edition of the card and he's not going to be in V2.2, which seems to be a fairly big update, you will be able to search for him here um, and be able to see exactly like how you're going to be. So say we want to search for Ronaldo, we search for Ronaldo here and we'll see, okay, what cards are going to be covered over? And they'll tell you every card that is going to be covered over. That is Cristiano Ronaldo. You've got featured legendary standard. So if you have any of those, basically, if you have any player here, um, they will be carried over. Some players won't be carried over and you'll just get the GP back uh, that you would have spent on getting them. If it's coins, they haven't really said, but that is just something else to keep an eye on there. And they also talk about this player bonus. It's just a little issue that they were having with this. Um, will not be applied even if the team names are the same. Uh, there are little things. And then there was a manager issue with George Jesus was mistakenly made available for the manager of the Germany team. Yeah, the issue is now fixed. User that have signed this contract will get 10,000 GP. 
And then there was a, an issue regarding certain players' cards where they weren't having the shiny effect, the shimmering effect on the following player cards. And this will be fixed as well as getting 10,000 GP. So, yeah, just kind of run-of-the-mill kind of stuff. Again, maintenance and stuff like that. But the biggest kind of announcement this week, just to keep it short and sweet, is the World Cup event that's going to be coming basically to eFootball 23. Um, and there is a bit of confusion about the confusion about this because a few people have been asking me how to actually enter this. There doesn't seem to be like a you know a big button on the screen to enter. So it actually tells you exactly what to do here. This is going to be an international cup based. Every team that's in the World Cup that is qualified for the World Cup, we do have an entry requirement here. Is that you need to set your base team to one of the eligible countries. So. If you are, let's just say, for example, right, if you are a French, um, if you are playing from France and your region is set to France or your region is set as England, you will need to have your base team set as England. So I'm out of luck, obviously, because Ireland didn't qualify for the World Cup and I can't change my region uh, when you sign up for the first for the first part of the game. Um, I actually can't change it. So you can see here all the all the teams that are eligible. So these are the eligible teams here. So they're the African teams, the Americas, the Asian teams and the European team. So I'm actually out of luck because Ireland didn't qualify. Um, say Sc Scotland, if you are playing from Scotland and your region is set as Scotland, they didn't qualify either. So yeah, it's a bit of a, I don't know what's going to happen there because what they do actually say here in this bit is to be deemed eligible for this competition, your configured base team must match with your country, region of residence or nationality. So I'm not actually going to be able to play in this as far as I, I can see. Um, I don't know how that's actually going to work, whether it's a mistake, um, because obviously, you know, a lot of a lot of countries would not have qualified for the, the World Cup. Um, like as 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 I said, with with Ireland and Scotland not qualifying. Um, so as the selection playoffs in the main tournament will be carried out on PS5 or PS4, participants will need to prepare their own PS5 or PS4 and then to configure your base team, go to extras, users, edit, dream team and base team. So very easy, very simply, this is how you actually do that just for anyone that does want to enter. You have to set your base team before the 20th of the 10th. So you just go to extras over here. Um, you go to user information, let me down. You go to edit dream team, you go to base team, you click on that, and then you're going to be just picking any team that's on that list of eligibility. So say you go all the way down, you go to national, and we can pick, say, let me just pick somebody like Netherlands, right? So we pick them, you go back out, you let it load, and then that's it. So there, you're, you're now entered, but as it says there, unless they change that, uh, that entry requirement... I don't know what they're going to do because obviously to be deemed eligible for this competition, your configured base team, which we just did there now, must match with your country, region of residence or nationality. So mine is obviously my country, region of residence or nationality is set as Ireland. You can see that um, when you go into your uh, user information and you go into your user details right there. So <clears throat> yeah, you can see country, region, Ireland there. So yeah, I don't know, lads, what they're going to do for guys like me who have not qualified. Well, I didn't qualify, but Ireland didn't qualify for the World Cup. So I'm not too sure what they're going to do uh, for players that haven't qualified because it seems to be kind of like a Call of Duty collaborative kind of uh, ranking that everyone that like is playing as France or Spain or Italy, everything will be like totaled up. So, you know, if Spain as a region or Spain you know, if every if more people that are playing as Spain actually get more points, they will get more and more points if you pick that that country. It's kind of like in Call of Duty when you pick, there's usually two sides. They did an event with King Kong and Godzilla and it's like you had to collect these things and whoever collected the most, you could choose to play or collect for Team King Kong or Team Godzilla. Um, it'll be the same as this. So it'll be like a collaboration of all the results that the players are, are, are getting in eFootball 2023. So... Yeah, I'm not too sure. Obviously, maybe I've missed something. Um, maybe I'll actually be able to go back and check some things. But yeah, it seems to be just a World Cup competition. It says that it's going to be held between. We have more information here. The main tournament will be held between the 3rd of the 12th and the 11th of the 12th. and will be broadcast between the 10th and the 17th. And then the selection playoffs will be held between the 19th to the 27th. So that's when it's kicking off. Um so yeah, it will be interesting to see. Obviously, there is more information there. There's group stages. Um, you know, there's winners. There's money for the winners. So yeah, it is going to be interesting. It is going to be interesting to see how this actually works out. But at least we do have something to work towards. 
obviously not me because Ireland didn't qualify, but yeah, we, we, we keep going. So that is it, lads, for me. I'll be back quite soon with another video and a couple of player reviews later. Let me know if you're excited about this or let me know if you're disappointed if you're like me from Ireland that you're not going to be able to play. So <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen. Maybe we'll be able to like adopt the country to play in. I don't know. But anyway, that is it, lads. I'll be back soon. Peace.